Hello Air People, I'm Melanie Florence and this is the weekly hot tea for the Air Peeps. So if you are an Air person or you could be here for your intellectual mind, right? Because that's what Air's about. So it's our Air, our intellect, our thoughts, our communication, our stuff, right? So and how we breathe. Talking about breathing, I'm not doing so well this week. So, because there's a storm in the way and there's one that's just been and that Gemini moon thing, right, that we had and I am a Gemini moon and so my lungs just went hello asthma bronchitis I'm an old opera singer so I've always got enough blood oxygen believe it or not so sorry if I cough through this that's just a disclaimer uh, if you want to leave now I understand if you want to stay great hit like and subscribe because I want to get to a thousand peeps right so that I can do lives on YouTube because that would be awesome so I am gonna do us the weekly read and if you've been around I do them by element for a lot of good reasons and so at the end of this I'm gonna um, put them I'm going to, at the end of this I'm going to give each individual star sign a few cards to go with the top of the reading for the air peeps in general so we're going to see what the general reading is and then just for you sort of thing right so and if you do just want a reading please get in contact with me because it's like a counseling session with your higher self I had a really great time this time this week with the winners that I had from my seven day giveaway from the hot tea for the soul group on Facebook uh, if you're not in that please join uh, and so it's been a really great week for connecting for me so we're going to bring you a few cards and see what the next week's got coming for you. I'm going to start with the Dreamtime reading cards. Uh, it's because I want a little bit of Dreamtime. I am Aboriginal. I'm Indigenous Australian. And I want to get in contact with this deck. So I want to get in contact with this deck. I only got a few decks this year. I've given an abundance of decks and I really did expand my collection. I've been reading the Greenwood for about 25 years, right? And then I said to the world, I said to a friend, I said to a few friends, I would like a deck and then poof, my uh, collection grew. And so inside of that, she got a green time, this dream time reading deck. Thank you, Kelly, if you're watching. She won't be. She's not an air element, people, I don't think. Uh, so this could be for any of your planets. Like, one card for the air peeps. Apparently got arcs out loud, see. Been shuffling for a long time. The carpet snake. So there's a few snakes in here, surprisingly. And there's a red belly black snake in the deck. Uh, and there's so a carpet snake. Let's see what they've got. So opposed to if you're not from Australia, these are not one of our poisonous ones, just some of the strangly sort of ones, right? So what have we got for the carpet snake? So the carpet snake teaches you about the comforts of home and the importance of having private space. Because this card's about home. Because they come into your home and they love to hang in the trees. All right, so, um, da -da -da -da. non venomous uh, da -da -da. It's like to uh, take residence in uh, overwinter in the roofs of houses where it can hibernate, keep warm, and enjoy the odd visiting rodent. Carpet Snake teaches you about the comforts of home and the importance of having a private space. Everyone needs a safe space where somewhere to go and let go of their facade and in, in inhibitions and just be real, right? Let it go. Often your home is a sacred space. You put a lot of energy into making it beautiful and comfortable, a place where you enjoy spending your time, even in uh, even within your home, it's important to have a space that is just yours. Make a nook, make a corner, right? That's what it's saying. Um, there will always be days when a lot of pressures in the outside world seem too much, when f you feel like curling up in bed. The carpet snake reminds you that life it always appears to be better after a nice long sleep and getting some food in your belly. Everyone needs some time out occasionally. The carpet snake encourages you to curl up somewhere safe and take it easy. If you have been a bit busy lately, the carpet snake is to take it, telling you to take a nap. It's telling you to relax, right? Um, and enjoy some quiet time alone in a place that you feel safe. I've been in my house for a really long time and I move it around a lot, I like what I can, the different spaces, and make different spaces and I make it really comfortable and make a little nook for me here and a little nook for me there. So this is saying make a little nook for yourself, somewhere that you can, and it could be that you need a day bed, right? Somewhere that you can sit and read a book and lay out in the sunshine. Maybe you don't feel like you're one of those people who wants to retreat into a room, right? You might just want to make an outdoor space that you really like, you know? So this is sort of saying, Find your little warm spot that you can still get your snacks from. You know that the rodents are coming to you. Uh, and, and find yourself that little safe space to feel safe in. 
in your home. And that's talking about a different sort of home. It's not talking about a house. It's talking about the environment and the energy that you've got around you and that you've got a spot that you feel you can retreat from everybody else in the house. That, and, and everybody knows that when you're in that spot, you want some time out maybe, right? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I have the Australian Wildflower deck. So... Oh. Wow, okay. I've got it twisted. I'm going to take that card. Ah, so we've got the Grevillea. I don't know what's going on there. We've got the Grevillea. That's what we got. Because that's what's jumped out of the deck. Since I started doing this, since I started doing this channel, before when I was doing my cards, I had to clean them. When I started doing this channel, I cleaned them. If anybody's seen my... um original page for Miss Melly Flow. I cleaned them with witch hazel and after 20 years they started jumping and so this card I this thing this thing I let them jump and we just let them present right so it is about creativity so this is finding a spot in your home and being creative this is great create yourself a new spot this is good what have we got? This flower highlights creativity in many forms to look how you can be more creative in your problem solving right now. It aligns with the creative arts and crafts. It can be an affirmation for you if you are seeking healing and the progression through closer ties to this side of life. Joining groups and collecting things that can be of great benefit to you right now. And sorry, and collective thinking. Joining groups into groups and collective thinking can be of great benefit to you right now. If you have been struck and you feel like you can't move in an area in your life, stuck. I was like, struck by inspiration, no, stuck. And you feel like you can't move in areas of your life. This card indicates the energy for changes around you right now. But with this flower, you must take action yourself. Uh, the changes of the gorilla are coming, become, uh, the challenges of the gorilla are becoming stuck or too dependent. As a healer, gorilla boosts creativity, creative thinking and promotes courage. Right, so this isn't just saying create a nook in your house. This is saying create a group, get into stuff outside of your house as well. Like take some action. You know, don't get stuck in your ways. Like really, if you've got some stuff that you'd like to be involved in, it's time to reach out, get involved with the community, right? So this is a creativity, but this is creating action in your life to be involved in the things you want to do. It's a great time to join a hobby group. Great time to, you know, so it's saying create a nook in your house to make you give yourself a little bit of a home. I don't just have a house, all right? Or, and get out, get out there and meet peeps. Meet other peeps. They'll vibe you up. It's time. All right, so a couple of cards from the Earth Magic. And let's see what we got. Oh, lightning energy. We've got the power of lightning. All right, Grease Lightning. This little card really warns about taking your power and taking it to your head. This is about taking action in your life. All right, and it can be turbulent and you can see how it's going to stir up your emotions just there. Right, but it's lightning change, changing your old ways, changing yourself to be um, more congruent, right? And taking power in your life. Creativity, we're saying action. Hope requires action. Hope is an action word. If you want to have a look at the partnerships, I did a partnerships reading this week. Did a love reading, a sweet hot tea and a hot hot tea and I did a passion fruit tea. For all those people who want their passion to fruit. Alright, so. The sweetheart tea was short and sweet. It was really great. Just love. Alright. And the passionate reading was passionate. And it was saying what hope is an action. Alright, one more for the book. Synergy. So this is the balance. This is balancing yourself and being at one with nature, with the green man. Alright, we have the green man in the... Um, in the Greenwood deck, surprise, right? Because this is sort of where it comes from. It's being synergy and being at balance with your nature, with the natural side, getting out in it, getting out into nature, getting your feet in it. Like, we know we really need to connect with um, the earth. And I watched an earthing video this year. I may have put it somewhere on my YouTube. I'll have a look for that. But I put in, uh, I watched this earthing video in, in this time and it's really about taking your shoes off because we've been insulating ourselves from the earth and there's this healing energy that when we put our feet against the ground we really do connect with it and apparently it lights up our being like that around us Bing! lights up our aura like Bing! 
we're connected to the earth and being healed by it. So taking off your shoes for as long as you can, even, and putting them on the earth. But half an hour itself, if you can get out and walk in the park without the bindi slack and walk out there and, and, and get connected. All right, so being action connected, connected with you, connected with nature, connected to the world. Right, cool. All right, we're going to take one from the archer type decks and see what we got from that. From the archer type deck. Ooh, the crone, the wisdom. Look at that, and pentacles. It's got pentacles, it's got the wisdom, it's got the messenger. So this might be coming about your money, but this is really like, you know, really using your wisdom, using the your, and maybe there is a, a wise woman around you usually, the crone. It's gonna be a woman, because that's who she is. She's the wise old crone. She's usually the one that we actually went, oh, she's a witch, because she knows about herbs, and she's gonna heal me. I you might have found odd things in there. But this here, this is about finding the wisdom from maybe the nature. And, and there's definitely a money aspect in it, inside of here. Finding that wisdom and using your wisdom. Okay, so I'm going to do the five line uh, self love pyramid. So that's what it is. So it comes down to you five for how we got here, four for your healing element, three for our 3D practical world, how it applies, how we bring it in. So two for our um, partnerships and one for our self love. That's it. Self love. So I can't find my new glasses. I've got my old glasses on today. I have to because I can't focus on the screen because you're all fuzzy and I like to see you clearly. All right, so uh, here we are. Five for how we got here for the air piece for this week. I'm going to turn it down so you can see. So I do this so you can see my like glittery like deck. My glittery, I've got like four of them different colors. So today's pink. Let's also so you can see the pretty cards all line up together. All right, so. And seeing my head's not so pretty today. I had a facial yesterday. It was very touching. Weird to say, but true. All right, five for how we got here. Breath of fresh air, air element. You know what this is about. So this is about, um, you know, really communicating yourself in a new way, your new life. You've got a new way of communicating. This is a beginning. This is aces are always a beginning. And air is intellectual thought. So this could be taking up new pursuits in sort of business or in, um, da, 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 or, uh, sorry, business or what's the other thing we do? Education. There's two things we do with our brains. But a new way to communicate yourself. You might just be talking differently because you've got a new life. Right. So next and this is how we got here. Alright, alright. Ooh, this is a bit of like slow and steady winds of the waste sort of energy. Trying to pace out your money, your job, your practical world, maybe. This is the night. This night is 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 um this could be a an earth element person, earth element dude. This works with the pack. He also works by himself to go and achieve things on his own personal level. So this is a person who will work together, work to get their um, pack achievements and they'll also work to get their loan achievements, but slow and steady wins the race. This is what that one, that night's about. Okay, here's our tortoise. The tortoise and the hare. We know how that went. All right, because we're making money. All right, so this is about exploiting yourself. This is a manifestation. And you can see it, there's money in this. Every time now, it's like bees in a trap, right? Because you're in the trap, you're making your money. You're not worried about what anybody else is saying. You're in there, you're manifesting, and this is like that triumph card on a physical plane. All right, so what else have we got to bring us to here? All right, so after this, I'm going to do individual star signs. So I hold in and I timestamp them. So what do we got? Two more, how we got here. Two more for how we got here. Oh, only two. Come on. I'm going to take that one. Ooh, there's been a death. There's been an ending. Let me show you this card. Because they're so pretty. I wanted to show you all the cards, remember? So this is what we have when we are picked bare. What we've got left after that lightning change in our life. We pick the bones and we make our new lives from these. But it's like the ending of something. And you have to acknowledge that there has been an ending in here. Let's see, one more. Oh, this is communication. This is the queen of communication. This is an air, 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 air element woman. So this is about communicating from your heart, your new beginning, your new situation. That This is a, maybe you coming into your own on a real feminine level, like, and really communicating yourself, getting closer to yourself. Right, you may have been stripped down there. Right? Okay. 
I like that you got the green man and the crone sitting there, right? They sort of go together. All right, so it's four for our healing elements. What do we got? I don't read reverse. This card deck, this deck has been jumbling in all different ways recently. But I don't do reverses because there's enough light and dark in the deck. Oh, healing element. The lovers. This actually came up for, for the fire people in their first in their healing element as well. So this is really intoxicating. You can see the energy between those two as they stare into their eyes and that strong energy that is prevalent between them and ignited between them. Uh, and so this is can be the balance of you and your masculine and your feminine side, right? And, and being the lover yourself. This is a real Gemini card. All right, so this is, you know, being in love and intoxicated with the world. And when you admit that, this could be that there is a lover that we're talking to, but this could be that you actually feel love and you're admitting the love. You're talking the love inside of you and you're able to feel the love. Okay, or somebody, this knight has been communicating love because they're sitting together. I like how this triangle works. The more I do it, the more I like it. Two more, so, oof. So we have the green man before. Now we have the green woman. So this is really earthy. This is really sensual. She is the queen, the empress. She, she's a Venus. She is this really sensual, in control, in, uh, like has all of her needs. She knows what she wants. She's very grounded. She's very fertile. This is a very Virgo energy. So in here, and you see this, it's communication. We see that again. See this here, we see this communication. She's communicating from the heart of herself. Look at that, air people. Communication and communication inside of there, but from the heart. Divine, feminine, there. Yeah, well, not divine, because that's the green woman. To go with the green man, really balancing your earthy, masculine and feminine. And this is a decision of faith. This is what you believe in. What do you have in one hand and what you believe in the other? All right, because this is, when we talk about fire, we're talking about our faith and what we believe in and our passion. So that's where we're at with that one. One more healing element. All right, one more healing element. What do we got? Ooh, I'm going to take that one because it's up. All right, so we have justice. So this is what you put in, is what you get out, what you reap you sow. The balance of your tree, the roots of you and what you feed the roots of your tree is what you get out of the leaves and the fruit of your tree. This is a karma card. It's an ultimate sort of karma card. All right. So it's got some really earthy stuff, is it, in here? Strong card there, strong decisions of faith, and what you do is going, going to be the justice is going to come out of it. All right, so I like this air piece. Healing element is love, and green woman, and the balance, and you've made spiritual choices, and the justice that comes out of that. All right, instinctual, you'll maybe you'll be given the answers inside there, but this is you know decisions of faith. All right, so three, how do we apply this to the world? How do we apply it to the world? Oh, oh we have the moon. Okay, so the moon is this incandescent light, like black and white people say, but I'm like, it's incandescent, it's silvery. Rather, it's this silvery bog that we have this nutritious, emotional dreaming inside of. That's what the moon is, emotional dreaming. It's not trying to try chase a star. It's not being bathed in the sun. This is this moon where we're fertile at our emotions and this egg here where we sit there and we think about what we want. Because this is a fire we want. This is fire and passion in this night. They say he's a player, but he's really looking. He's divining. He's got the divining rod. He's looking for spiritual things. He's looking for the things that spark his spirit. He's not settled down. He's off. He's going. He's getting the things he wants. Okay. One more. So how we apply it? One more. How we apply it to the world. So, this is no drama llama. This is a rest position in the emotional stuff, right? So, when we're all on like an emotional jar high, like there's, there's joy before this and after this is ecstasy in my deck, all right? So, this is a spot that you choose whether you want to be in ecstasy because the other half of the five is that you uh, you're become iced over. And this position is a position that you can ice over. But here, it's recycling. You're recycling, you're, in, you're recycling this energy. You see this here where we're refining maybe our emotions and what we think about things inside of there. 
heart, but we're looking for faith and we're exploiting ourselves and making passion and of uh, passionate choices, right? Being creative. This is, is saying there's no drama. It's a no drama llama card. Be bored, maybe, with yourself emotionally, even though you're a lover. See? Because we're looking for passion. Right. Great. So the next two cards are I'm gonna have to move this across a bit. I'll cut you off. The next two cards are the uh, 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 partnerships. Partnerships with the world. Partnerships with the world. What are they going to be like? There's one. Oh, bang. This is a passionate new beginning. So these groups that you're going to get involved in, these things that you're going to get involved in, that you step outside of your house, you're going to create yourself a beautiful nook in your home and you're going to step outside of your house and be involved in these communities and actually take a passion that's inside of your heart. All right, because this isn't emotional. This is passion that we're bringing down through here, this creative passion and expressing ourselves through the lover and our idea and really taking that passion and inspiration. That's an inspired new beginning. Okay. Okay, and the Queen of Stones. This is really about making your money. This is money, honey. Back up here, we've been the night and we've got the, or we're looking the night and we've got this stone. We've ended that situation maybe and we're communicating differently. But this woman is, it is really connected. This might be somebody that you know that you're involved with or this can be you. This is really an earthy woman who's central that's really um, being in control of her practical world and practical what was going on. Got a lighter, got her looking after her, her things, got her looking after her stuff. All right, one more before we get to the individual star signs. The one more is your self-love. What have we got? Self-love for this week. For the air piece. Self-love for the week. Oh, clearance. All right, so this is clearing out or cluttering ideas that are holding you back. All right, and so we were discussing this about holding on to ideas that are holding you back. And these are ideas of yourself or old beliefs that are no longer serving you. This is like cutting back and, and removing, going, I'm not any of those things. I'm not listening to the things that I've said to myself before of myself. And I'm not listening to the things that I've said to other people. I mean, not yet, yeah, maybe. And I'm not listening to things that other people have said either. Like, I'm going to, my beliefs are my beliefs. And this is clearing out old beliefs and old cluttering beliefs inside of your head of faith. That no longer serve you this clearance is a healing element for air people all right burn up those excess thoughts and let them go burn up those excess anxieties and let them go all right air people this is really interesting look for the wisdom the power and the crone it's time to take a change in your life air people all right the next uh, first of the individual is going to be Gemini what do we got Gemini we got looking for our wisdom what have we got yeah gemini first oh we got for our gemini peeps after the gemini moon is you what's coming out for you that one Ooh, happiness your cup runneth over all right so maybe this is slow because you don't need an answer sort of all right, you, you're going to clear all this out and gemini you're really looking at where this is is going and this attraction and we've got that here we've got these people down on the bottom of here that are, are our lovers, that are our people of attraction and, and, and this cup runneth over sort of energy for you. Ah, Gemini, awesome. And be happy with the choices that you've made and the decisions of faith that you've made. There's justice in this and what the outcomes are. You know, feel secure inside of that and be able to clear out the old, old beliefs of yourself because you're happy with that. That one. Oh, and there's celebration. Look at that. This is um, celebration of the heart. This is faith, wands. This is the marriage card. This is an ultimate marriage card. So this really is about really having a great time with your people and really enjoying your life. And you see the people dancing around the fire and the sun setting and the and outside their castle and their keep. They're really secure in where they are. So we've got happiness and celebration. One more. One more. Let's see for the Gemini. What do we got? We've got lovers out, we've got really got the justice of the situation. You're expressing yourself in a new way after a death and ending. All right. Oh, I'm going to take this one because it jumps so far. All right, and we've got the pole star. I'm actually going to show you the other one that turned up as well while we're at it. Why not? 
and we've got endurance. So this is the endurance of circumstances. This is really the sense that you can endure all of this. Everything that's gone, this is really the sitting position. It's a healing, but it's of the senses. So really you can sit in this and, and sit inside this. And really this has got endurance, what we're talking about here. And this is really the wishing star, like really putting your aim on it and your... And, and 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 putting aiming for your wish, aiming for your star. This is really great, Gemini. Thank you for staying. I hope you hit, hit like and subscribe. It'd be great. Um, Gemini, love it. I love where you're going. I think I liked last week's as well. Awesome. Love that for Gemini. What have we got next? Libra. For all my Librans up. Oh, oh, I love this. This stoke, this little ferret energy. He's running over here and he's running over there and he's looking for faith. He's like this step up for the Knight of Wands. It's really innocent, this, oh, this could be a pregnancy. This could be a fire sign child maybe in your life, fire element child. But this is really curious, spiritual energy. And you might be feeling intuition. You might be really getting intuition for what you, and, your, and wisdom coming to you. But this is really looking for spiritual past, turning over rocks, looking after over everything. All right, Libra. All right, two more for Libra. look at the home and the apple tree this is really blessed this is a blessed card this is the legacy of, of your family this is legacy and strength this is all the effort that you've put in to your home all right and your home your space so again we're talking about home maybe it's time to plant an apple tree for your future all right so you can always have pie and skin and, and scrumpy cider all right so looking for spiritual really make yourself your home we love that we doubled up on that all right, one more for the Librian. There's a lot of curiosity there in your home. Maybe you need to, yeah, change your home, home room. Maybe do some, um, what do you call it, feng shui. Do some feng shui there because that's like little spiritual energy in the home. That's really nice. All right, plant your apple tree. One more for the Libra people. What do we got? One more, come on. One more. Oh, passion. This is the king of passion. This is the king of uh, in, inspire, inspiration and faith and spirit and really driving, driving spitlers. This is the king of, of uh, like the passionate male sexual energy. All right, so this is really taking on your life passionately and, re, and in, in evolving in this spark of life, really, and, and really taking that passion with the lover inside of here. And the lover inside of you. All right, I love that. Air people, this is fantastic. All right, sorry, all right, Librin, that's great. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, and the last part, the last cup of tea goes to hot tea for Aquarius. Aquarius, hot tea for Aquarius. Thank you for being here. What have we got first up for you? Jump for my love, jump in. Right, spread your wings. You've already jumped. You're here. This is the spirit. It's already jumped. She's already jumped. She's like, just spread your wings. Trust it. Trust it all. Trust your passion. Trust this change. <coughs> <coughs> oh, really? Really jump. Clear your lungs. Really jump out there, Aquarius. And really put yourself into it. Really take it like the innocence of a child. All right, so... Two more for Aquarius. Two more for Aquarius. What have we got? And then go with those old past beliefs. It's fantastic. Burn them up and jump. Trust your wings and fly. Trust your wings and fly. Trust those rainbow wings and we're going to take that one. Oh, so you're going to still let go. This is a healing thing. There's a ritual of letting go. Burn your incense. Set up an altar that you can go away. Burn my, my morning away. And if you ask if it's somebody who has died, this may last for, they may pop up at this time of year all the time in your heart. All right, because that's what a person does. So this is a spot where we may mourn and grieve our losses. It is in the past. It's always in the past if we're mourning it. Right, so this is a spot where we really go through our rituals of letting go, burning our incense, drinking our tea, and you know, uh, and really taking a time to acknowledge that that your heart was hurt, and that there's a movement. But we're jumping, gotta jump anyway. Okay, all right, one more, and there it is. One more for Aquarius. Oh. 
your passion. You know, your heart might be hurting, but this is about your passion. This is about your spirit. This is about your faith. This is about your drive. This is about the hearth fire, the bit that inside of you, you know, that you want to bring your heaven to earth. What is that heaven? What is that earth? You are here to create your own Aquarius. So I really hope that that helps out there. I really hope you like it. Hit like and subscribe. That's what I'm doing because I want a thousand peeps so that I can do lives, right? Because that'd be cool, right? So I really hope that you like this and I hope your week is great. So I will catch you on the flip side and uh, yeah, thanks for being here.